Hey, fruit bats, it's really the banana girl here. Welcome to another episode. Oh, oh my god, okay, I'm not too good on the spin in the chair yet. So, today is a sweet chili sauce recipe. Got one that is mostly raw and one that is cooked, and they turned out really nice. I enjoyed them a lot. They don't have any garlic, vinegar, or salt, they're fat free, really yummy, and also some chunky potato chips. All right, so I hope you enjoy it and make modifications if you have to. I'm no expert but I'm really happy with the way they turned out. So enjoy. Okay, so here's our ingredients. We have coconut sugar, water, chilies, and at the top we have a green onion, the juice from limes and lemons. Firstly, finally chop up the chilies and the spring onion. Add six chopped chilies to the saucepan half a cup of coconut sugar, about a quarter of a cup of water. So in a saucepan, low to medium heat, stir around the mixture. Make sure you don't burn the coconut sugar. That's really important because it can give it like a bitter taste. So you've got to keep the temperature pretty low, stir it around until all that sugar is dissolved. So I didn't end up reducing it down too much, so it became, it was quite watery still, but I liked it like that. And I just really didn't want to burn the coconut sugar. To make it a little bit thicker, you could probably put gua in it, or you know, some sort of thickener, potato starch, something like that. And now the little baby spring onions are going in, and you just mix them around. So I think I cooked these for a little bit too long, so I recommend that you put them in towards the end. And now the lemon juice is going in, lemon and lime juice, about a quarter of a cup. Or to taste. So take off the heat and allow it to cool for about 10 to 15 minutes or you can also put it in the fridge and let it thicken up overnight. Into the blender. And there we have the finished product. Yummy little spicy sweet chili sauce. Line a tray with greaseproof paper and then chop up your wedges or your chips and put them into the oven. To avoid excess acrylamide formation, make sure you don't caramelize them, but you take them out when they're fairly white looking like that because it's just way more healthy. So there we have our no fat fries and our sweet chili dipping sauce. Mm, it's really nice, yummy. I've got the raw one over here. Way spicier. The cooking takes the edge off the chili a bit. Something that's really yummy is a chip, cucumber, wrap. Little, yeah. Like that. Whoops. Then just roll it and then just dip it. Okay, I'm going to get into this, and I will see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Don't forget to go fruit or root yourself. Banana girl.